one of the biggest detriments to water quality is the stormwater runoff, the runoff coming off of our streets. Things like heavy metals that come from brake pads and from metal parts in the car. There's heavy metals and other compounds in the tire formulations. And that runs off into the drainage ditches alongside the roads, which go to storm drains, which would basically take it down the street and then directly down into Port Townsend Bay without any treatment at all. To help alleviate the problem and mitigate the pollution in the bay, um, we can put in rain gardens. And so rain gardens are really just deep depressions and then we're gonna fill this depression back up with a sand and compost mix that will filter out any contaminants and soak it into the ground. That's the biggest concern is to get it soaked into the ground so it's not running off to the catch basins and going down to the bay. We put this rain garden in right at a corner where it can intersect the runoff coming down this whole side of the street and also it's, it's going to capture the runoff coming from the street up there and that will also flow into our rain garden. We've excavated down two feet and we're going to gravel up along the road and so the water will funnel down into the soil. We're going to fill that back up with 18 inches of a soil compost mix. So it's 60% sand, 40% compost. And then we'll put the plants in and then we'll come back in with three to four inches of mulch. But the plants help take out some of the contaminants. Their roots reach down into the soil and they're actually putting enzymes in the soil that help break down contaminants and they're also taking out contaminants. We um, put our budget toward getting some pretty good sized plants here because of one, the deer, <laughs> and, and two, uh, just to kind of have a little bit more instant landscape. And, and since we could afford to buy bigger plants, we decided to do so, so that there'd be less maintenance. Fewer or less spready things, less aggressive spreaders, and more focus. Uh, we've been having pretty good luck in other areas with some ornamental grasses, some of the miscanthuses. We did bring some uh, blue elk uh, rushes as well. So we're gonna kind of, after we deal with the side slope, which we all need to have our feet down at the bottom in order to make that happen. So we'll, we'll keep, come back after we plant a few things, we'll add some perennials, we'll put some things on the bottom just to kind of like keep the plants from getting trampled as we go. So here's the rain garden that we, we did three years ago. As you can see, it's filled out pretty well. The homeowners had to do a little bit of maintenance in terms of weeding, but it's filling in so much now that much less weeding needs to happen. Down at the bottom, we have some sedges and rushes. And then up on the upper parts, we have species that can tolerate the dry better. So there's rock rose, there's some ornamental grasses. Um, so you can see how these also are aesthetically appealing as well as cleaning up the water that's running that off the streets. The rain gardens that we've done here are fairly large um, because it picks up a lot of the street runoff. But people can do these themselves on a smaller scale to get runoff from their driveway and also from the street in front of their house. A typical homeowner scale one that's probably 14 feet by 14 feet might cost five to $600 for the plants and maybe four or 500 for the excavation. Um, unless you had a nice work party and had a lot of friends willing to dig a nice deep hole. At our Puyallup Research Station, we have 16 rain gardens set up. We also have soil mesocosms, looking at different soil mixtures to see which soils work best. So the research is, is done and is out there and we're continuing to refine that research uh, to look for what other contaminants that these are effective in removing. But the main ones we're finding are removed well by rain gardens. We have a manual developed specifically for this and it's on our website. We also have a 35 minute video that walks you through the steps.